everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Zach Morans. Of course, our first guest this week, of course, is Coach Mike Nesbitt. Coach, how are you? Great, Zach. Doing really good today. I'm Coach. First off, congratulations on the win against Eastern New Mexico, bringing, bringing home the wagon wheel. And uh, how much, uh, how, how did that mean to you? Oh, well, it was really enjoyable. I mean, it is, uh, it was a good day, you know, as you're watching that clock tick down and you got those group of guys right there on that end line ready to run up there and run up the hill. And it was neat to see uh, the Buffaloes get a run up the hill after a couple seasons of watching those guys from uh, eastern New Mexico run up the hill and take that thing back to, to Portales. So it was fun. To, uh, it was neat to see the seniors uh, get experience that moment. And then it was really neat to see some of the, the former guys like Dustin Vaughn and Chris Olson and Torian Oakley and some of those alumni that had come back to watch the game uh, that, you know, had felt bad when we did lose it and uh, wanted to win it back. And so it was, uh, it was a great experience. Uh, in a way, do you think it was also kind of fitting to have the debut for Thunder 12 uh, on the same day? <laughs> yeah, I, maybe. I mean, maybe th- maybe it's Thunder 12 that, you know, brought it back with us, but uh, Thunder 12, uh, he was pretty excited to get out there. You know, we watched him run out, and then he was standing in the far end zone while we were introducing the seniors, and he was starting to dig them horns into the <laughs> turf, and I'm thinking, I wonder if we have a plan. You know, I wonder if Ken Johnson has a plan if this Buffalo puts his horns in that turf and starts tearing it up, what we're going to do before <laughs> kickoff. So, uh, but it was neat to see, and uh, the herdsmen did a great job with both of those Buffaloes on Saturday. Uh, well, you kind of got the short end of the stick on Sunday, but you know, it's time to move on, go on to the next thing. You've got Oklahoma Panhandle State. You guys are going to hit the road and uh, got a very powerful offense. They've only got one game where they didn't score uh, more than 30 points. They're yeah. averaging 45. Well, they're really good and they're really explosive on offense. They've got two you know, big-time playmakers out there, and those two playmakers you'll see on special teams. Uh, One's averaging a little over 40 yards of kickoff return, and one's averaging a little over 31 yards of kickoff return. And so we've got to make sure we know where those guys are at when we're kicking the ball this week in punts and kickoffs. So, uh, no, they're an explosive team. They're very well coached. They're playing good right now. And, uh, you know, with those guys joining the Lone Star next year, uh, they're going to have a lot to prove, and their kids are going to play hard, and they're going to be really excited to play against us. And so I know our defensive staff has been working their butts off again this week just trying to figure out, you know, pass protections and where they're going to be and different things like that. And so we've got a lot of work to do for sure. Well, Coach, thank you for joining us today, and good luck on Saturday. That would be good. Appreciate it, and get those people driving up the two hours and get them to Panhandle State this weekend. Yeah. Well, then, folks, if you can't make that game, of course, you catch live stats and live streaming on GoBuffsGo.com. That game is at 2 o'clock Central Time. And so, folks, uh, folks, or, uh, Coach, thanks for joining hey, us. Hey, thanks. Uh, it's been good. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. Up next for us is men's cross-country head coach, Darren Flowers. Coach, how are you? I'm good. Coach, uh, congrats on your win with conference. And how much momentum does that give you going into this weekend hosting regionals? Uh, well, you know, I've been telling the guys that all of our preparation is is for November. You know, we want to run well in November. And... Uh, the guys really stepped up at conference, uh, had a good meet, uh, competed as a team, and I think they really feel confident coming into the, uh, the regional. But you know, our regional is tough. Our re- our region is the best in the nation, as far as I'm concerned, and they know that uh, they got to step up again if we're going to advance. Now, what is the main message that you're sending the guys this week? Um. One, just to you know, have fun and enjoy the championship experience in front of a home crowd at, at our home course. And uh, as always, give 100% effort. Give great effort. Uh, run as a team. And wherever that puts us at the end of the day, I'll be happy with. Uh, you know, ultimately, we want to advance. And advancements, advancement to the national championship is our goal. Um, but we just got to focus on our effort and running as a team. And, and hopefully that stuff takes takes care of itself and finally what are some of the teams that you're really looking for uh well you've got a lot of national powerhouses like adam state and mines and western and i think a few sleeper teams you know might be like colorado mesa um uccs hot new mexico highlands is in there and metro state uh, they're always always strong at the end of the year they're always good postseason teams so uh there's a lot of teams to look out for um, we just have to have a good team effort running up at the front and 
and try to put the best score together that we can. I, you know, I'd like to uh, I'd like to finish top three mm -hmm. if we can. I think this team's capable of doing it. Um, but ultimately, we need to advance. Coach, good luck on Saturday. Thank you for joining us. Today. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. Up next for us is women's cross country head coach Kimberly Dudley. Coach, how are you? Hi, good. Thanks for having me. Well, Coach, you didn't quite get the uh, finish that you wanted at uh, conference, uh, but that doesn't really affect regionals very much. And you guys are getting to host this weekend. Uh, what kind of momentum does that give the girls running out? Um, I think it always brings confidence to them to get to run on their home course. We've done a lot of workouts out there lately. Um, uh, practice has been going really well the last two weeks, so I feel like they um, see the things that they didn't do right at conference and really want to do over. And then uh, what, what is the message that you're really kind of giving to the girls this week? The opportunity for um, experience for the future of our team. Since we're so young, we really need to take every opportunity um, in that area of growing as an athlete, growing as uh, com competing in the big races. So I think that'll bring a lot of uh, confidence to the girls next fall. So um, opportunities is, is our main focus this week. Linda, uh, with the team being so young this year, I know that one of the things you have to talk about that uh, they are really good at pack runners. And uh, what are some stuff like that for this weekend that you are looking to see with them? You know, um, I've been watching them in practice and just seeing how they continue to challenge each other and sharpen each other. And, um, you know, I, I really expect a different lead runner or a different uh, front runner in that group every week. So it'll be It'll be fun who, to see who really wants to go out there and take care of that this week. Well, good luck this weekend, Coach, and thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you. And folks, thank you for joining us this week on this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. And for the WT Sports Network, I'm Zach Barnes, and we'll see you next week.